All right. Now, I come from a Southern family. So the Southern family's a little bit awful. They say, girl, how do you cook your collard greens with no meat inside of it? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to cook it with not only no meat, no animal products, no dairy, and also very, very few ingredients. And it's going to be great. So, we have the onions. All right. Now we want to go ahead and put a little bit of, um, a little bit of thyme. Okay, over here, and I have thyme. Now, fresh thyme is the best thyme. I actually have some growing out of my backyard in the garden, but I decided to go ahead and show you for the one that may not have it around, you need something quick, and you really don't want to go all around town, this will serve the purpose until then, but I do recommend you trying the fresh. It's always best to stay fresh. All right. So we have a little bit of garlic in there. And as you see, the rice is already started to boil. So that's already on its way. So, here's our greens. And remember, I'm picking from the bottom because the bottom is at the, the bottom has soaked the most, so it's been cleansed the most. And after I do this, all this goes at the bottom and I take it from the bottom up. You'll find that sometimes the bottom up really does serve a great purpose. Now have you ever seen anybody prepare their greens like this? For a song, nothing. And she's been eating with me for quite a while. So, it's quite good to see somebody here finally come in the kitchen and want to learn. I learned her some Latin, Latin dishes from her. She learned a little bit of good Southern diabetes cooking from me. Right. Now, if you notice the environment in the back, it's very peaceful. One of the things that most people don't pay attention to is when you cook, your environment plays a major impact and role in how your food is actually gonna come out. So whatever you have a stressful day at work, let that stay outside. Let this be the one moment that you come in for 30 minutes and prepare one of the most wholesome meals for your family. Go ahead. Be right back, excuse me. All right, well that's the rest of the greens and now one of the things you want to be very careful of is not to overcook your food. Most people think the aroma that they smell is so wonderful and it just wets their saliva. Well, they have to also realize you're cooking all the nutrients out. Anything that you cook should be at least at the halfway point so that it remains with some of the most nutritional elements of our meal so that our bodies can heal. Uh, greens are very good. They're one of the best things you can eat. Leafy greens, I recommend it. It is quick, it is simple, and it's very good when your young, your young children have actual tummy. It flushes you out, if you ever notice. And um, just want you to take a look at the, hmm, if you could only smell it. All right. So we got that going, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Turn this off. All right. There we go. Turn that off. Um, plus, from the bottom, keep all the current running very low. It is very, very important that you realize it's not only important to save money and time, but also to save the environment. So if you can unplug your lamps and unplug your outlets when they're not being used, you'll see a lot will be changed. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set this one lid here on top of the cream. This is gonna allow me to go ahead and actually start cooking. Bang, 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 I know, I know. Well. I move quick sometimes, that's why I can cook in 30 minutes, and so can you. All right, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start preparing the okra for you. 
Yes, collard greens and okra together, still down with a little bit of onion. It serves you just right. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the greens back over here into this bowl. I'm gonna take out a few greens, put it up on my chopping board. All right, so we have that going. We have this sitting right on top. <laughs> I can pack things down, can't I? All right, so we have that. I'm gonna take this. Now the okra has already been cleansed, so now we're just gonna get more rough chop. I cut them up to the stems so that it's much easier to digest. Uh, some people leave them on and take them off at the end. I'm a good southern girl, so that's quite easy for me. But for the ones that don't, um, most people say they don't like okra. If you don't like it, just omit it from the recipe. It's quite simple. But I will tell you that okras do help provide you with the most double D skin you ever can possibly imagine. Not only is it good for that, it actually works as a natural laxative. So why go take all the calm for, um, chemicals and put them inside your system when there's always a natural health alternative right behind? You know, all this talk about healthcare reform, I think one thing we definitely need to start doing is stop relying on others to take care of what we can naturally take care of ourselves. Just eat right, you live right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the okra in here. I'm gonna go ahead and make this one good stir. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on for one moment. Let it go ahead and simmer up. All right, there we go. All right, oops, oops. Can't get away there. I'm going to put this back over it. Isn't it great when it serves as your cooking lid and also your cooking cutting board? Okay, I'm gonna take care of the look at the rice. Let me go ahead and wash my spoon off. Actually, I always have a second backup plan. Now you see how this rice is cooking? It doesn't look all grainy. Actually, it's really fluffy. And once it's finished cooking in a little bit, all we have to do is throw in our peas and season it up and put a little coconut milk in it. All right. So now that that's finished, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these okra also on top of this. See, I don't like to cook. I, I mean, apologize. I love to cook. I don't like to wash the dishes. Ha, who does? So, what I do is, I make sure that everything that is friendly with each other, I try to condense it as much and cut down on so many pots and pans. It used to take me 20 pans just to cook two items. Now I can only cook everything in two pots in under 30 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, you can cut it off. 